Golden Dayan. Hi, and welcome to part four in my series about the subjunctive. Let's dive right in. So just as a reminder, the subjunctive is a verb conjugation used when the action is not necessarily a reality. We've already talked about using it when expressing hope, doubt, desire, and belief, and also indirect speech. Today we're going to be moving on to the next category, which is certain conjunctions. And the two that we're going to be looking at are thoath or thoth, and quoth. Now we're going to start with thoath and thoth, which are synonyms and both mean even though. And I guess these ones are a little bit strange because they don't really have to do with this not reality kind of thing. These ones are pretty firmly rooted in reality, but we still need the subjunctive after them. So they're a little bit strange. Let's go ahead and just look at some examples. So like I said, thoath and thoth mean even though. So here's an example sentence. Ég ætla að fara í göngutúr þó að það sé kalt úti. Which means I'm going to go for a walk even though it's cold outside. And we see that after thoath we have sé, which is the subjunctive of að vera. Here's another example. Mig langar að fara í veiðar þótt það hafi snjóað í gær. Which means... I want to go fishing even though it snowed yesterday. And notice here that when we're talking about something that happened in the past after thoth, we use the subjunctive of hava in the past participle. So the rules of which subjunctive to use are basically the same, even though we're using it with these conjunctions now. And here's one where we have two past tense. Han vildi tala við hana þótt það tæki mikinn tíma which means he wanted to speak with her even though it would take a while. And as I mentioned in my other video, instead of taiki, it would be also appropriate to say that minti taka, tima. That's especially common in spoken Icelandic. All right, let's move on to kvort. Now kvort means weather, and it's used when the action that we're doing is meant to find out if something is true or not. So we often use it with certain verbs, and these are the big ones. Spiria, to ask. Vita, to know. Ad athuga, to inquire about or to check. And ad siao, to see. And some of the other popular ones are ad heira, ad skoda, ad seya, ad aukveda, ad kanna, and ad meta. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. Vid spirium. We ask whether she wants to play football or basketball. In English, we could also translate this as we ask if she wants to play football or basketball. But in Icelandic, we need to use kvort, and it needs to be followed by the subjunctive. Here's another example. She doesn't know whether he will ask her to dance. So we have doesn't know whether or doesn't know if he intends, and ætli is in subjunctive. Ég ætla að athuga hvort þeir geti tekið á móti mér. I'm going to find out, or I'm going to check, whether they can receive me. Okay, let's look at some examples with the past tense. Hún spurði hvort ég myndi kaupa nýjan bíl meaning she asked whether I would buy a new car. So spurði is in past tense, so after whether we're also going to have past tense. Hún spurði hvort ég hefði keift nýjan bíl. She asked whether I had bought a new car. Now this is the pluperfect. We're going to use the past subjunctive of ad hava to talk about something that happened even before she asked. Ég veit ekki hvort hann hafi hringt í þig which means, I don't know if he called you. Now, notice that veit is in the present tense, so if we want to talk about something that happened in the past, then we have to use hava, havi ringt. And so hava is in the subjunctive, the present subjunctive, and is talking about something that happened in the past. That's all I have for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave comments or questions below, and stay tuned for more. Bless, bless.